Hello and welcome to the Creaky Coolers. Today we are kind of starting a Let's Play in Tainted Grail Conquest. Now this is a game that I covered um, a while ago now. Um, I covered, I've done a review, I've done tips, I've done like a breakdown of all the characters. And it's just a game that I absolutely love. Um, this is a game that I seem to keep coming back to. So I figured I'd do a quick kind of Let's Play um, on the channel. I'd imagine it's only going to be a few a few episodes. It, this isn't a particularly long game. This is a kind of rinse and repeat game. So here we go. I'm going to be playing as my favourite class, which happens to be the Summoner. I think it's so overpowered. Um, and hopefully we're going to have a pretty fun run. Uh, so yeah, if you guys have any questions about this game, then don't forget to pop that down in the comments. We do also have an active and growing Discord. The link for that will be down in the comments. But we have a few Tainted Grail players um, in the Discord as well. So if you want to join chat about this game, or just chat about any game you may be playing, then the, as I said, the link for that is in the description. And if you do like this video and what you see, don't be afraid of hitting that subscribe button. That way you don't miss out on more videos just like this. Now we're going to be picking the Golem, I believe, because I think the Golem is the best starting summon to pick. Um, and yeah, we're going to see how we do. Right, yo, here we go. So I think the first thing to do is probably for us, um, we're going to pop over here. I'm going to go to the Lost Soul. We're going to summon our Wolf. I think the Wolf works really, really well with a Summoner. Um, it just helps kind of like get your main ability charged up, which I quite like. Um, and let's go for a quest card. What's actually here? Pride is here. Um, gain 75. Hmm. I'm going to say no on pride. We've got a bit of greed. Again, I don't really particularly like greed. And lust. Increase the damage. Uh, doubt by 200 and gain 50. I don't like any of these. I'm actually really, really gutted I went for this. Because these are not things that I like. So we're going to go for pride, I guess. I guess we'll go for pride. Proud Excalibur works in the end. Uh... And turn in. Yeah, okay. We'll go with Pride. Yeah, it's a shame. I don't really like any of those cards. I was hoping for something a little bit different, but is what it is. We have eight candles to start with. Let's go and clear the first area. Okie dokie, pretty straightforward. We got our golem. It's been a while since I've played this game, if I'm honest. A real long while. Um, so I figured it was about time to kind of get stuck back into it. Let's use pride if it's the first one we've got. Uh, we're going to end our turn. No point. I don't see any point in activating. Mm, what next what next what next let's activate our abomination i also happen to have wooden flute with a 20 barrier i find it helps me so so much i refuse to trade it in at this point let's go with this and then we'll go with activation we want to activate the abomination abominations i personally think are the best damage dealers um for your summoner playthrough, however, however, the other guy does deal absolutely mad damage to bosses, so it really is uh, I'm not R. I think nine times out of ten, the abomination will get the job done. Though, let's go with the power up. We don't need any barrier. We could promote. The more promotes we have, the better. We can activate. And of course, the wolf's going to attack every single turn. Every single time we get an attack, we get a little uh, boost. Yeah, the worm. The worm's really good for bosses. Very, very good for solo characters. It does hit twice, so that's pretty cool. And we are done. Okie dokie. Got our first level. 
and we get to pick some cards. What do we want? Activate a minion, dark rights, uh, zero activation charge. Yeah, we'll go for that. Extra attacks are always good. We get our first passive as well. We got a new passive. For me to get a new passive these days is quite rare. The first time you activate a minion, additionally activate it two times. Hmm, I like that. Start every combat with 20 barrier. I like that too. Increase damage. I'm going to go with rapid growth just because of, well, it says it in the names. Rapid growth. You're more likely to get your special um, with this. So yeah, we're going to go with rapid growth. I do think this is quite nice. Start every combat with 20 barrier. Uh, but yeah, we'll go with here. Oh, I like this. Okay. Just in that rune's going to restore health after every victory. So that's kind of cool. Uh, let's look at them. And we're going to pop that on. That is in the armor slot. So let's pop that in. Okie dokie, so what we want first, what have we got? We've got no attackers, which kind of sucks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to summon my wolf. Um, Golem may be a good shout. So there's no point in increasing anything right now. Or promoting. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for the wooden flutes just to give myself that kind of protection. We're going to give an extra golem because, you know, we get extra, extra defense, I guess. We're going to use pride just because we need to kind of, you know, get that underway. Probably wasn't the right move, um, but we do have a little bit more health left anyway. And I think we have no choice. We're going to have to go for the wyvern or the worm. Let's go straight promoting the worm. Uh, and let's go for the attack as well. There we go. First golem is down again. We're going to activate, activate, activate. Let's power him up first. Then we can activate one. Then we can activate two. And then we can activate three. I'm also going to level him up right now. And activate him one more time. And there we go. All kushti kushti. Another level in the bag. Starting to get some of that human liver. I think that's really good stuff to get to be fair. Um, pick two cards from your, of your, of, um, I'm not going to have that one. Promote by two levels. That's actually really good. Uh, for each ally in combat, the minion increases damage, but it loses armor. I'm going to go with this one, advanced promotion, just because, you know, it increases it by two levels. That's really good. There's also a passive that you can get, which works really well with that. Uh, what's the weapon? First time of combat, draw an additional card. Yeah, we could do that. We'll add that on. Make sure we add that on. Go for the runes. It's the same one we just had, to be fair. There we go. Let's chat with this guy. The candle maker. Um, we're just going to go for the candle. I can't remember what the passive you get with him is, to be fair. Let me know down in the comments if you know what it is and if I chose the right decision. Okie dokie. So I'm going to use pride again because, like I said, I kind of want to get this over and done with. Um, probably wasn't the right choice, but hey-ho. And we're going to put on our barrier as well and end our turn. 
Let's see what they do and just how badly I messed up. Now, if we only get a Fae, I don't particularly like the Fae with the Summoner class, if I am honest. Let's get our Wolf out, at least. Um, and I guess we could activate him. I'm not going to bother um, leveling the Golem up. Honestly, I feel that the Golem is better off being level 1. Um, that way, you, you know, you get less kind of damage done to you. As long as they can, you know, tank the hits, that's pretty much all that matters. Get our Abomination out. We're facing multiple enemies, so the Abomination is the key choice here. Advanced Promotion. He goes up to a level 3. We're going to go for Activate. And again, let's Activate. And now the Wolf will attack, and then we'll be on 9 charge. So, if we promote him, level him up, and I'm tempted to get the Golem out, to be fair, but let's go for activation, activate him again, and I guess we'll put some barrier on, just as we don't have the Golem. Power him up. Activate again. And again. And hey presto, we win. I've played it obviously as all the characters. And by far, I absolutely love... Um, love the summon. I just think that they're so overpowered. Takes a little bit longer sometimes to get the power required, but... Very, very good. There we go. We'll pop that in the armor slot as we get the 7 HP after every combat one. Ooh, hunting grounds. Okie dokie. I don't necessarily need the food. Mm, I think I'm going to go sleep because you get a risk of being attacked. There we go. We were attacked. Pride, we need this one more time, I believe, to get Excalibur, which we could use later in the game. Um, however, we have got a shot getting Abomination one out. We're going to use it anyway. There we go. We got our proud Excalibur. We can use it later in the game. Like I said, just it's not going to really do us much good. I think it's three charges. Uh, it is quite a big attack. It's going to be very useful for bosses, I guess. Let's get our wolf out. And I guess we'll just get a fey out. So we don't really have too many other options right now. There we go. He does give us ticks, after all. Um, which is handy. It's just there's nothing I need to use it on right now. I find that leveling up my abomination or leveling up my worm is actually pretty darn quick anyway. Um, so I don't tend to need a, a quicker, faster way to level him up. There we go, pop the abomination down, finally. Uh, let's straight up level him off. We're gonna save Excalibur, we definitely don't need to be using that. Uh, let's power him up. I'm gonna go for the advanced promotion. And we win. Simple as chips. Oh, okay. Card picks once again. Uh, offer to summon a golem. I don't 
think I'm going to do a sacrifice a minion. I'm not into sacrifice when it comes to the summoner. Um, summon a level three abomination. I don't like any of these picks. We're going to re-roll. Okay, reduce the max HP of an enemy. No, at the start of each turn, the minion heals. Yeah, I like this one. I like this one because it helps keep the golems alive longer. We get to pick a new passive as well, focus energy. If you only have one minion alive, promote it at the start of each turn. This isn't for the summoner class because we're never just going to have one minion alive. We absolutely need our golems to be alive plus an attacking creature. Um, whenever a wyvern is summoned, stun a random enemy. Every combat energy of the first sigil you use is reduced to zero. I'm going to go with this one simply because I don't really pick the worms too much and the top one I just don't think it's going to be particularly helpful for, to us unless we're trying to level our golems with the summoner class. I don't tend to do that. Uh, what have we got here? Weapon increased damage by two. Uh, let's see. Forget two skills. That means I could get rid of... Yeah, we're going to go for that. We're going to discard some cards. Now, what am I going to discard? That's a good question. I'm going to discard the Fey, and I know that's going to be controversial because I know a lot of people quite like the Fey. However, I personally don't like the Fey, and I certainly don't like it um, with the playstyle I typically have. I'm also going to discard the worm as well. So we're just going to have the abomination and the golem. Am I shooting myself in the foot because we don't actually have any other summoner cards? Maybe. Maybe that could be the issue. However, I kind of want to guarantee myself the abomination more often than the worm. The worm is very useful. Um, but there's better worm cards that you can pick up. And activation. There we go. Didn't shoot myself in the foot for the first turn at least. Let's go for the promotion. Again promotion. Activate the wolf. And activate again. Advanced promotion, I think, is a good option. And if we activate, we actually should be able to win right now. There we go. Kushti. Building up some liver. We need, we need really a lot of liver. There's some good things you can do with it in this game. Oh, the Pied Piper. No. No, 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 no. I'm running away from you, dude. I am keeping what I have got. So sometimes you can actually interact with the treasure and stuff like that that's actually at the back. So, this is the occasion where we don't have the abomination and we may have shot ourselves. I could just go straight for the one hit kill. But I think we're going to risk it. Let's give ourselves some barrier. And see what our next draw gets. We probably should have activated... Um, a card then, at the very least. Summon another golem. Give us a small barrier. Promote the wolf. And activate the wolf as well for another charge. There he is, abomination. 
Need more of those cards in my deck. Wasn't expecting to get rid of the Fey and the Worm so quick. It is something I tend to try to work towards. Um, but normally I don't get a chance to do it quite so early in the playthroughs. real quick do a little bit of extra damage you see advance promotions and there we go all done and dusted of course with the treasures you only need to take out the one in the middle, which is what we've done. And we've got a little bit more money. We have a chance as well. Gain a big pile of... Or we could get a new armor slot. I'm going to go for a new... I'm going to go for a new armor slot. So this bad boy is the boss. We don't want to go after him just yet. Uh, try and get as much experience, I believe, in every you know area you're in before attacking that boss. We go we'll activate him getting so many of those cards We've got Excalibur a promote let's go for the promote there we go done Fresh new card. What do we get? Reduce an enemy's damage by... Yeah, that could be useful to be fair. Uh, reduce again. All enemies gain uh, 25%. And this turn I get another bomb. So all enemies gain 25% damage this turn. That's the, you know, whatever turn I summon it on. And I get to summon an abomination for free. I'm going to go for that. I get another abomination card, which is kind of what I wanted anyway. Um... I have two slots open, so in the first turn you gain in combat, that's pretty good in the armor slot, uh, the first turn in combat increase your damage. So we're going to increase our damage and then get the armor I think. Quickly go down here, so let's pop this over here and pop the extra armor on the first. Oh, hello. On the first round, there we go. Uh, I found your mother. Why did she leave? It must be because 
I lost the stone that she gave me. You tell him that his mother was desperately... When Mum found me, I was very sad and alone. She smiled, and she hugged me, and then she left and never came back. I just made a mistake. I'm not I really like uh, this game when you kind of rinse and repeat the, the level so much you kind of piece together all the different stories. Um, I think that's really cool. So let's again avoid him. Try not to run into him. Okie dokie. So... First of all, we have an abomination. Love it. And we can also summon abomination for free. Or also love that. So let's do that instead. Uh, let's do for the advanced promotions. Um, we are going to activate him once. Activate him twice. Dark rights. Nice first round victory. Love it. We are down to like 88 health, I think. We, oh, okay, 95 because we got a little bit of health for beating uh, that boss. Luckily, we've got our Abomination first round again. I'm going to go for Advanced Promotion on him. And now Dark Rice and Activation. Pop on our Barrier. I think if we'd have probably used our little level up for the one extra level, we might have been close to winning that in that first turn. I'm going to go for the power increase. And there we go. All done and dusted. Seventeen livers now. Ooh, the tavern. We're going to take a sip, get a random consumable and a rune stone, uh, a combat encounter. This guy's got a fair amount of health, but should be nothing that we can't handle. We do not, however, have what we want. That is entirely our own fault. Build up a couple of charges at the very least. Summon our abomination. Increase his damage. I guess we're going to summon another golem. we got a lot of um, energy. Make sure that golem kind of tries to stay alive for a little bit. I also forgot to level him. That's kind of annoying. We're ticking along pretty good. How much house he got? He's got just under 
300 health. It took me a long time to realize that you could actually change the camera angle, um, like a ridiculously long time. Uh, let's do that again. Pretty easy battle, really. I think that was the golem for the win. The man finally collapses and disappears into the wig. Ooh, nice. We got a little bit. So there is four. Four little battles left in this little area. Let's go for the one that's far away. Let's pop this real quick. Um, ask for a blessing. There we go. We do this little battle. Someone a wolf, I guess. Do you need to get another abomination card? We can level him up. Goes up to level four. I quite like how the summons kind of turn once they hit level ten as well. I think that's kind of cool. Let's increase his power. Don't need it at all, so. Probably shouldn't have done that. Like I said, I didn't actually need to summon him. Oh, he's on a titch health. There you go, little man. You're dead now. Okey-dokey. So, Wild Summon. Summon a Golem Arrival, Abomination, and Fey. Lose two energy next turn. To be fair, summoning everything in one go, that's not bad. That is not bad. Um, activate a minion, return two. I quite like that too. Uh, offer 10% of your max HP to invoke. Eesh. Now... The way I play, I don't seem to feel like I need much health. So this one's not too bad, especially as I've got the things to kind of, you know. I think this is really better for the blood golem. Sorry, the blood um, summoner more than this summoner. So I think we're going to go for wild summon. I like the idea of that. Uh, abominations are summoned at level 3. Now this one I like. As we're playing for Abominations, you want your passives to be suiting. Uh, every minion is promoted, increased damage. Each turn, gain one ultimate. We're going to go for the stronger Abominations. I think that's a very, very good one for us. Especially considering what we're trying to do. So, let's fit in one more battle to this very first episode. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying. Again, if you're new to the channel, think about subscribing and sticking around for the rest of the playthrough. Um, we'll be doing weekly uploads uh, for, for this. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it. And now you know when to expect them. Uh, increase damage. Let's increase damage of the abomination. We're up against multiple enemies. Going to activate as well. 
pop on our cover. And then our turn, remembering that we are going to be having that reduced uh, energy. So let's go for the activation with our one and only energy that we had. And there we go. That was pretty easy. Pretty easy. And guys, I'm going to end this episode right here. And in the next episode, we're going to be taking on, we're going to be finishing off these last couple of fights. And of course, taking on the boss of the first area. Hopefully to see you guys there as well. Don't forget to comment your thoughts in the playthrough. Where did I go wrong? What would you have done differently? And why do you prefer the worm over the abomination? Come on now, what's wrong with you? <laughs> but I will see you in the next episode. Thank you very much for joining me. And happy gaming.